So only the political practice plan to be declared you're not a felon has to be filed by March 1st. It, it does We're trying to have a convention in May, ideally. Um, could, could I not? I was one of those candidates who ran for governor and ended up taking, I think I ran for West County judge that time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then there okay. was someone running for judge. Could, well. Tell you what? There was a, no, it was a Republican running for judge. Go ahead. It was a three-way race. Right. Um, could I not file my political practice pledge and then put like two or three offices down there? And then lend it and stipulate that this will be decided at convention. Well, that's that's another dimension. That we don't know. That subject. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know if that's uh, uh, we don't know if that's permissible by the Secretary of State who would accept the form. Right. Let me defer to that one, Andy. What kind of decision making uh, with the executive committee approval would happen outside of? Uh, I mean, that couldn't be replaced with. Well, we're going to file these filings for every member for every position, and that way we have complete flexibility. That would be an alternative way to go, I think. Yeah. What kind of, uh, what, what are you trying to uh, sort out in the executive committee um, decisions? That, um, um, what, would be, what would we be trying to do there is uh, prevent having multiple candidates for the same office, and we would have to reject all the one. So it would be taking the place of what we could probably do informally, as I said, the collections could be through that. Well, I mean, I, and I don't want to, to reduce the import of what we're talking about here. Um, how likely do we think it is that during the filing week that someone we don't know is going to approach to, to file? <laughs> Defile? I mean, for, for, I mean, I know it's a possibility, but yeah. I, I, I think it's highly unlikely. Uh, I mean, the, when, we, when we parse this down, we, we have the nominating convention so that we have some modicum of control over who we nominate and to make sure that they're in line with our principles and our, and, and we're going to put more positions in these three markets. As we saw in the last election cycle, that's not a foolproof method. I, I don't think that having the executive committee vet all of them individually is going to be a foolproof method either. Um, I think that, I mean, just looking at it, I, I think that we may be overcomplicating things. Um, and I, just on all of the possibilities that we've got up, up here in front of us, and this is just me, I, I think that staying the course and doing it the way we've been doing it is probably the, the better part of reason. Just from, we we have done it this way, we know that, that it works in most instances to get the outcome that we want. There's always going to be the possibility of somebody split it through either because of our zeal to have somebody run for a particular office or because they mask their intent. Um, and I I think that we're just I, I think that we are as 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 much appeal as doing the, the what Melissa was suggesting with the malicious compliance would would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, I think that if we would, we have to keep in mind that if we do that, then we're going to have to have something in place to sort through all that and make sure it doesn't come back and buy us. Yeah. I think that that the, the A1 is the probably, as far as I'm concerned, the one of greatest appeal, and this is a minor consideration, but. Uh, the convention is also a source of revenue for the party, and if and coming up in 18, we're going to have constitutional offices on the, on the board, and that's our biggest draw convention that we have. And if we're having everybody do it, you know, by just going down and following the practices pledge and having the executive committee sorted out, there's no reason for most of those people to come to the convention. The convention is is. Profitable. We're not losing money doing it that way. That's not. It's not costing us. We usually come out a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Debbie. 